Hey guys, it's Autumn, and I'm really excited right now, because today I got my very first water, like, real watercolor palette, not, like, cheap watercolors. They're a little expensive, but it's by Winsor & Newton, and I'm just super excited. So in this video, I'm gonna open it up and swatch it, and then I got this watercolor paper too back here, and I drew two little pictures in it just to see how the watercolors work so we'll get to that in this video let's just start off with opening up the watercolors so here's what it came like pretty simple it's just kind of like a little baggy Here's all the colors that it comes with. I think this just, just slides off. Yeah, there we go. And here's the front of the package. Here's the back. Oh, there we go. Here's all the watercolors and the pen. Let's see how this pen looks. I think I'll just kind of pull this off. It's a decent size. It's a little smaller than than like you're probably used to for a paintbrush. So let's just go through all the colors. Um, where are the names at? Okay, the first one we have Payne's Gray. Then we have Lamp Black. Here, let me focus this a little better. There we go. We have Chinese White, Lemon Yellow Hue, Alizarin Crimson Hue, Ultramarine. And then for the second row, we have Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, Sap Green, uh, Viridian Hue, Turquoise, and finally, Deoxazine Purple. Hopefully I set this right. The camera off for a minute, and I'm going to wrap these, and then I'll be back. And we can start swatching them. Okay, guys, I'm back. And here they are, all unwrapped. And I'm gonna take one out just to show you, like, how big of a pan you get. So, here's the pan. And then on the side, it does tell you the color still. So, if you take off the wrapping, and you want to throw, like, this box away, you definitely can, because it still says the color on it. And let me get one where I can just take it out and show you how much you get. Yeah, here you go. Here's the white one. And this is what, like, the watercolor looks like without the pan. Then there's the pan. Also filled up the, the brush with water. So, I'm going to change, I'm going to start holding the camera, and then get into this, and then we can do some swatches. Okay guys, let's get started with the swatches. I kind of tilted them all up, so that after I swatch them, I can just write down the name next to them. So, let's squeeze a little bit of water out. I've never used one of these, oh, whoopsies. So, like, I don't know, it's kind of squeezing out of the side, if you see it there. So this is Payne's Gray. I need to do these swatches a little better so that I can keep them like up there and I know what they look like. So I'm gonna do some neater swatches down here so that I can cut these out, like cut them out of the watercolor pad and then just like keep them as a swatch sheet. So yeah, this should be Payne's Gray. Oh yeah, down here are the two drawings that I have that I'm gonna color later. I'll also be right back because I'm gonna need a paper towel to wipe this off. Okay, uh, we're back again. Let's move on to the next color. There we go. Just kind of get it started a little bit. Okay, here's the 
Uh, I think this is the lamp black. Yeah, we got lamp black. Let's move on to the white. I mean, I'm not gonna swatch the white actually, because now that I think about that, that's just dumb. It's white. <laughs> it's not gonna show up. I think this is called lemon yellow hue. So let's do this. Ooh, Jesus, like highlighter yellow. I don't know how I feel about this color. This looks like a straight highlighter, but it's still white, so we'll give it time to dry down and see how it looks. It's called lemon yellow. Oh, I spelled lemon wrong. <laughs> so it's called lemon yellow hue. I'm just gonna call it lemon yellow. The ink from the yellow kind of got into it, but it's fine. This one is the like Alizaria Crimson. Let me try to wipe this brush up a little more. There we go. It should be fine. I don't know how I like that drop. Like, I don't know. That drop that comes out of the side. Yeah, this was an Alizarian crimson. I'm just gonna get the whole thing. Okay, let's move on to, this might be a blue color. This is ultramarine. I'm gonna put a bit of watercolor on my finger. Ooh, I quite like this color. So there's ultramarine. Looking good. The colors are looking pretty good. Um, let's move right on to burnt sienna. There's burnt sienna. Let me clean off my water brush and move on to yellow ochre. a bit too much water. There's the first row of swatches. I'm really liking them so far. I'm not disappointed. This one, this next one is sap green. Ooh, that was a really light wash. Sorry for my terrible handwriting, by the way. Next, we're gonna do turquoise. Is it turquoise? Viridian. Viridian hue. I'm just gonna call it Viridian. No point in putting hue after it. Let me clean off my brush. This one, <laughs> my brush is clean, it's just the color kind of stain the bristles. So next we have, I'm pretty sure this is turquoise. Yeah, there we go. I'm <laughs> trying to get my camera to focus. But yeah, this is turquoise. Ooh, I think this is my favorite color so far. This is a really pretty blue. Can I smell turquoise? Uh, there's definitely no in it. <laughs> wow, I misspelled that so bad. There's supposed to be like an O there. Oh well. Oops, got a bit of blue on my finger. Now we're moving on to the final color, which is the violet color. This looks black, almost. On camera it looks a little blue, but it's definitely very purple, like a rich purple. Yeah, there it is. Super rich purple. I'm just gonna put violet. So that's all the colors swatched. I, was, I think they look pretty good. So, here's two things that I drew. Just to, like, show you the colors and stuff. So, I'm going to color those 
off camera because I'm running out of storage. And then I'll come back and just show you the end result. Okay, guys. So I finished up the drawings. Here's how the palette looks. Um, I think the, the brush is pretty much empty. There's a little bit left. Because I was using it to, like, I squeezed out the water and then I would use it to clean the, the bristles. So, there's the little succulent plant. And then here's the sunflower. <clears throat> I quite like these watercolors. I did l learn a few things, like, try not to, like, color places right next to each other when they're still wet because like they will bleed like there we go there's some like bleeding i still like like the texture and stuff that it creates so overall i do recommend these watercolors i think they're super nice they're pretty vibrant they're like earthy tones i quite like that and the price wasn't that bad well they were 30 bucks, but you can always get a coupon at, like, I got them at Michael's, and I had a 40% off coupon. So they were only 18 which is a pretty good deal. And you get 14 colors. You get the cool brush. Oh, I actually enjoyed the brush. I used the brush for the both pictures, the whole thing. And I do like the brush a lot. And you can see, you can get, like, pretty tiny, like, in small drawings like the bristles allow you to do that <laughs> so i'll see y'all later oh actually before that this paper um it like warped just a little bit but i quite like it it's not too bad so the paper is um There you go. The Royal Lang Nickel, the Essentials one, 119 pound, 25 pages. So yeah, I would recommend the paper as well. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like if you did. Tell me what your favorite medium is in the comments, maybe. Mine is probably watercolor. So. I'll see you guys later. Bye.